Hi, everybody. This is the Snark, Snark Alex Show on Live 365, the loud and loaded station. Uh, this is Kelly. I'm here with Mel, Tony, and Dawn. And we are going to uh, now move in to talk about this Tony guy. is really... T <laughs> He froze. Look at that. He froze. That's because he's, he's saying wrong things. things. He's, he's so mad. He's freezing. Yeah, he's I'm saying freezing? wrong things. Yeah, he's uh, yeah. saying wrong things. Yeah. When did I start freezing? When you started to say the wrong things that you're about to say about me. <laughs> so, so we could, like Mike, know to say, ignore all this part here, and we can start fresh. Oh, okay, we sure. can do that. You wanna, we you wanna start fresh? Just okay. Uh, Five, yeah. four. Three, two. Hi, everybody. This is the Snark. We're back on the Snark Alex Show on Live 365, the loud and loaded station. This is Kelly. I'm here with Mel, Tony, and Dawn. And now it's time for us to talk about Battle Dogs, uh, the last sci-fi movie. So before we get into, I don't know how we want to tackle this, guys. I think to refresh my memory, <laughs> going through uh, Tweet of the Night <laughs> would be good. Uh, first, to kind of have Don read some. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Tony? Uh, if, if we want to do Tweet of the Night first, we can do Tweet of the Night first because I know that there's a lot of people out there waiting to hear what the Tweet of the Night uh -huh. is. Um, we had an uh, interesting situation uh, this week where there was – and and when I show you the results, it's going to be interesting. But what we're okay. going to do is I'm going to pop up some tweets okay. uh, that may have gotten nominated, but a lot of people didn't see. Um, and I'm going to start with this one because I like okay. this one. And so, Dawn, if you, if you have that chat window up on your right-hand side, you should be able to see the uh, – if you click on that, the link, on. yeah. If you click on the chat link on the left, it'll show up on the right ah, for the you. Link. Yeah, As we're Tony's meaning, typing luge meaning, here, meaning the right. Yes, now on your right. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm mirrored. I'm able to mirror my display. <laughs> so if this is throwing you I off, I apologize. Me. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, okay. so Don, a couple rules before we begin tweet tweet of the night reading is we have our guests read them. We really mm -hmm. appreciate you doing it. However, you need it need to read it muy gusto, much emotion, much delivery. Make it make us feel like you were there. Jeans did it for us last time and did a muy outstanding gusto. job. Just. Just make us believe it's actually happening, um, and uh, uh, that, that's all. This, that's it. But this, so you, almost, this almost needs an ad lib in here. Well, I'll leave that to your better judgment. Well, to, to get into the, to the emotion, so do you want to start with the, the part up, up top, the luge? No, that, that's just the misspelling. Come on, Dawn. That's, that's how Tony spells look. look. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Well, you never know. It's like it could be an initiation sort of thing, you know. Absolutely. Okay. okay number. What is this? Five, seven, eight, four, three. There's, no, this is not a number. Random. This is okay. This is bonus track. DVD bonus content. Track. Okay. Bonus track. You lose all over. You are just <laughs> wrong, man. Wrong. <sighs> I'm in airport security, not a Ghostbuster gym. Okay. Yay. I like that tweet. Mm. It was mine. Nobody saw it. <laughs> Except maybe you, Dawn. I think you retweeted yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, I, think so. I, think I, I think I did. Or, or maybe lots of people saw it and just didn't like it as much as you did. Oh, okay. Mm. Because you know, it didn't have anything about a shield generator in it. Oh. Okay. Good thing you're on the list. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> if I wasn't before, I am now. Okay. Stay low and go. I was told the same thing last night at the movies. I believe that was I, Lisa Marie Bowman. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. So, Good yay, night. Lisa. Uh, hold on. I'm just glad that one wasn't Tony's. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, so am I. Not going to go there. <laughs> this is not a family show. But <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. <sighs> I would say this is a poor movie, but do not want to see my woof. <laughs> <laughs> there was oh so many God. stupid dog <laughs> uh, tweets. Yes, yes, there was. Um, let me see. I have to make sure that I'm not going to throw. Um, 
Okay, so what what happened was and we're going to get into we're going to get into the countdown and then we'll get into a couple other tweets that didn't make it. Okay. But um we from Tony. Had... <laughs> this tweet and the next two were actually tied okay. in the voting. Okay. So for number 1 or 5. This was 5. We we can say it's number three because there was three up there. There's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tweets mm -hmm. on the list, but three of them were tied for last place and two were tied for second place. So we okay. added a couple extra tweets. Oh, so right. this is this is this is one of the one of the uh, uh, lower vote getting tweets. But still, but still good. That's still good enough. Yes. Still good enough to get on okay. the. Um... Are we ready? Mm-hmm. Quick, cut to commercial. The scene is too expensive to continue. <laughs> Very well done. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> you have such talented people. That was uh, that was a <laughs> crunch that, up. It was crunch ups. That was a crunch ups tweet. That was a uh, Sean. Uh, the <laughs> next tweet was actually um, you might want to call it a subtweet. Okay. And once you see it, once it comes up, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> Sorry, as, as I do my mutley laugh here. Okay, do you want the whole... The whole, the whole thing, thing, because okay. because the actual punchline is the <laughs> yeah. first part of it. Wait, uh, the fuck? Huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, then. You come in peace? English? News Jeep or Duck place million battle dogs to seven percent. Yes, it got it got two votes and seven percent. <laughs> yeah, um, okay, I was like. Basically, what happened? That was a Jerry Fletcher tweet, and <laughs> Scott before the movie uh, started, Scotty was drunk tweeting already, and I guess he just missed a couple of keys when he was uh, yeah. doing the Jeep product placement uh, tweet. So. Yeah. Uh, Jerry was like, can you come in peace, English? <laughs> that was, was awesome. So yay, okay. Jerry. Hope you're having a good time in your Disney cruise. Oh, um, nice. And here is the last, uh, the last uh, two-vote getter tweet. Okay. <clears throat> <sighs> was that a wolf canal? <laughs> When they were removing the tea, yeah, I know. There was a it's shield generator. For yes. <laughs> Where's a shield generator <laughs> when you need yeah, one? I know. Apparently, not in the root canal. Yeah. Okay, move along. Move along. Move along. This one got four votes. Yes, this was this was good. She's obviously had fluids thrown in her face before. Yeah, that was that was. Uh, that was a pretty good one. That was really and good. Who, I know who, that one. Whose was that? I... Uh, Wolf Canal? No. I think no. it was yours. No, we, I don't know. Uh, no, no, the, the fluids. Uh, the fluids. <laughs> the, oh, the fluids. That, I think that was uh, Crunch Ops. It was. It's a good one. It's a very good one. Yeah, he was, he was, he was on Next. target. Okay. Next one. Da -da -da -da. Ah. You have to read this in the old speak voice, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's the yeah. way it's got to be read. Fuck you, Joe Boo. I do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> With great whisk comes great reward. You'll die in the process, but that is fine. You have all state battle dogs. <laughs> um, Yay, Pirate Mel! Yeah. That was a good one. Uh, okay. So... This is the next five vote getter. Okay. Wait for it. Yeah, it's coming. coming. Wait for yeah. it. Hello, my name is Donna Baradox. You killed my handler. Prepare to die. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Who oh, wrote that yes. one? That's me. Yes. Oh, that's that's for the, the Princess Bride. Yes. Yeah. It was one of my favorites of the night. Okay. I'm just. And I am just, before you go to the next one, I'm just amazed of what Jean's and what Don's doing tonight for just seeing these tweets for the first time the way they just 
blow them out of the water with the voices and touches. Yeah. So cool. So thank you. <laughs> yes. And uh, here is the tweet okay. of the night. Hi, right, tweet of the night. Hang on. Can we get a drum roll, please? <clears throat> All right, there we go. Is it true that most people get attacked by battle dogs three feet from Canada, about ten feet from Stockton, New York City footage? See, she wrecked that one. I think one, it dude. is. I, it must be. I think she wrecked that one, dude. She wrecked it. It's it, it's fine. <laughs> there we go! Yay! And the drum roll. No, yeah, it, it came in. Just a little bit too late. There were a couple of other honorable mentions. Um, just give me a second here. Uh, but I want to do point out that uh, Crunchops was very, very strong. Oh, um, yeah. He had a lot of tweets that got nominated. And, uh, you know, every time I look down... Um, there was actually, it was not Crunchops with the fluids in her face. It was MJ Khan, ah. um, who's not a snark Alec. Um, but yay, MJ, who's not. But it was a very good. good. It was, it was an very excellent strong. judge of character. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I know I retweeted that one because I liked it because it was just dirty. This one, right. is worth, uh, this one is worth uh, doing if you can give it the. Uh, Ah, and I used something similar to this yesterday at work. Ah, I love the smell of burning dog hair in the morning. I liked it, but she didn't finish it off because she should have said what it smelled like. It had a smell like something for that, for me. Yeah. It, it's got a smell like something. Um, <laughs> this one, this one, <laughs> this one was pretty, pretty sick. And, um... Mel and uh, and Kelly have heard that. <gasps> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> How did I miss this one? Yeah, there was a lot of tweets uh, that got missed. Yeah, and probably maybe with good reason. Okay, uh, don't deploy the battle talks to Japan. Throw the shove pantyhose on them and put them on Instagram. So have you seen any of those fine uh, pictures, Dawn? Yes, and wha why? Wha yeah. Why? I... And hmm, why? <clears throat> yeah, disturbing. Yes. It's like, y'all, that's what Photoshop is for. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I hope Photoshop is for other things than just that. <laughs> the point uh, is, if you're going to put pantyhose on a dog, you can Design the whole product to say, we need some sort of electronic product that could put pantyhose on dogs. Go. Yes. Yeah. Hey, it's Japan, man. You never know. Yeah, right. Uh, so do we want to get into the uh, taking a part of the movie at this point? We've, oh. we've technically got a couple minutes. Do we want to take a break for a second? Yeah. Or do we want to go on? Uh, let's, let's take a break. Sounds good. All we'll right. be right back. All right. Hey, everybody. We're back on the Snark Alex show on Live and uh, – People are <clears> – <throat> Hi, everybody. We're back on the Snark Alex show on Live 265's Loud and Loaded station. This is Kelly. I'm here with Tony, Mel, and Dawn, a recent Enemy of the State edition. Uh, and uh, we're here now to talk about <laughs> Battle Dogs. Uh, we covered a fine reading of Dawn's uh, The Tweet of the Nights by Dawn. Uh, we wept. They were beautifully done. And now yes. we're going to take the movie yeah. apart a little bit. We laughed. We cried. We hurled. <laughs> there were fluids. On dogs. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> there were fluids. There were dogs and pantyhose. There was fluid. <laughs> Tonight we ride. There will be yeah, fluids. yeah, pretty much everything that'll get us kicked off the internet. Yeah, yeah. that's a, that's like so, a you know, good that's, war crime. We'll that's, be that is that is strong work tonight, guys. You know. Yes, we've done Very good. good. Fist bump. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I'm just really. Um, I just want to uh, point out that uh, I'm really glad that Kelly's got everything he wants to say written down on that little piece of paper because every time he looks down at it to bring us back into the show, whatever. 
It's seamless. It's right. It's right here, dude. Because I put this. <laughs> and I know you're looking at it because I can see you looking at it. And I've no got it because, but I got it right. It's acceptable. It's okay. I got okay. it right every time, except when I look at it. I approve the paper. Yes, I, so I had some problems before getting all the numbers in the order, kind of the Bruce Campbell, Claptu, Barato, Nikto stuff. I got it kind of sort of right. but So I wanted to get it right right today because I take my hosting responsibilities seriously, so get off my back. So anyway. I am off your back. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just having – I have a lot of fun doing this with you guys, and it's one of the <laughs> things that just makes it – Fun, dude, because I see you looking down and you're still getting it wrong. And I can I, see you want, to, you want to smack yourself in the head, don't you? you I, know? So want to, I so want to be competent. I so want to be competent. <laughs> I gave up on competence years ago. It's uh, overrated. Uh, it's, yeah, I, yeah, I embrace my incompetence every day, believe me. Um, um, so this movie starts out, mm, it's in New York, right? Sort of. You mean yeah. New York? <laughs> it's in New York. I mean, hey, they filmed in Buffalo. That's New York. It doesn't, and, and and I'm sure they filmed parts of it in Canada, or they may have actually gone down to Mexico and filmed parts of it in Mexico, just to make up for not being in Mexico for uh, chupacabras. Yes, um, probably. And that tunnel from Mexico mm -hmm. to San Antonio, the longest drug tunnel known to man. Yes, that's right. It's, yep. Um. I'm sure they've got one going all the way up to uh, Toronto at this point. But um, one of the things when I watched the movie back, and I was thinking this at the time when I saw the movie, um, uh, Horowitz, that was the guy's name, Major Horowitz, uh, the, the hero uh, guy who, who was sure. less than a hero, whatever his name was. Brian, was Major Horowitz. Brian Hoffman. Hoffman, Hoffman, Horowitz. Hoffman, Horowitz. Okay, Hoffman. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. That was close. Listen, yeah. I, 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 hey, it started with an H, right? There were too um, many people with very similar names in that movie. Um, it got confusing. Uh, I, did not w I do not want to disparage any Horowitzes. I am sorry. Uh, <laughs> Hoffmans, you're back in the barrel. Uh, <laughs> but he was a freaking creep. I mean, like the way he kind of like uh, stalked our heroin victim, whatever you want to call her. Mm -hmm. um, Donna Voorhees. Know. Yes. Well, yes. Donna Voorhees was being stalked by this guy, and he was a creep. And the other guy wouldn't sell her, you know, any kind of insurance for anything. Um, I, am. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be funny. Believe me, I wasn't trying. Um mm. But, you know, all of a sudden we've got werewolves all over the place. And listen, I like to see people die, but, you know, uh, that movie kind of <laughs> – it, it took me out, like, real quick when they were, like, supposed to be at JFK. Like, they put JFK, and I'm like, that's not JFK, you know? <laughs> it just bothered me. Because um, yeah, that's the first time there was a factual error in one of these movies. In the <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> see, when, when I watched – The streak um, was broken. <laughs> Exploding piranhas. Oh, yeah. I can get that. Sure. Yeah. Arc flashing. This is the wrong no, no, no. It just, it just took me out because, I mean, it didn't have to happen in New York. You know what I mean? There was. I had a lot of problems with the movie. I still gave it a six because I sat, and if it wasn't for Twitter, it would have got a three. Um, but... I mean, I'm sitting there and I'm like, that's not JFK. Like, why don't, Why does it have to be JFK? Why does it, uh, except for the, you know, the werewolves running over a, a big metropolitan type area. I mean, I couldn't understand, um, you know, why it had to be in New York. They had that building that they were in that had nothing around it. The whole thing CGI'd. Um, I don't even know what that building was. Like when they were inside, it it looked like a, a mock up of Grand Central Station. It looked like that's what they used, like an old Grand Central Station set mm -hmm. in Hollywood. Um, but it it didn't, you know. There's a sign up there. That says, yes, we're in JFK. We're putting all the passengers. And then there's a sign up there that says to all trains. I was like, okay, <laughs> it was an airport, you know. Um, little things like that, you know, kind of took me out of the movie. Um, but, you know, what can you do? Did they, it do didn't animals? bother me here in Texas. Right, and just so, like, you know, I'm sure the, the San Antonio yeah, stuff yeah. didn't bother me as much as it bothered everybody from down in Texas that were complaining about 
the the things that they were showing in, yeah. in Chupacabras. So, but uh, I mean, it it was. I think they could have done it a little bit different. I mean, Hoffman, whatever his name was, they you know, uh, he really wasn't much of a hero. You know what I mean? Like he wasn't like an intense guy. He wasn't doing any hero type stuff. He was just a regular guy in a bad situation who didn't do a very good he job. He was an, an everyday hero. There we go. Sort of a hero. Well, My, yeah. Mildly maybe. incompetent everyday hero, maybe. He, he showed up to work that day. Okay. Yeah. You know. okay. yeah. He's a team. <laughs> he punched the clock. <laughs> he punched the clock. Yeah. Um, Everybody else died. What was he supposed to do? Go home? He showed up at the wrong airport, um, but he showed up. So. Right there. Yes, yeah. he did. Yeah. And we should mention that the actress that played Donna Voorhees was Ariana Richards, who was the little girl from Jurassic Park. Yes, she so. was. Yes. And we all know what Melissa did this weekend. She went to go see Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park 3D. 3D. I and, did uh, and enjoyed it greatly. Okay, so uh, it's, it seems like there's more interest in Jurassic Park than <laughs> battle dogs. <laughs> well, they got their airports right in that, right? You know, when they show up on, you knew it was the right one. Uh, well, uh, Mel saw Jurassic Park 3D, and I saw Evil Dead on uh, oh. since the last show. And um, I don't like remakes. Uh, I never have liked remakes only because why would I go see a movie I've already seen again, you know, uh, but they made it work. It was really, really good. The story uh, is basically the same. I mean, a lot of things have changed, obviously. There's no Ash in the movie. Ash is uh, now a female character. Um, there was uh, a couple of homages what? in the movie. A female a female character. There what? is no Ash. That's right. Mia. Is her name Ash? No, her name is Mia. Oh. Mia. <laughs> um, Still three oh, letters, though. Yes, it's three letters. Um, uh, and uh, modern, modern setting, you know, they have cell phones and stuff. and They're in a cabin. Uh, they find the book. I mean, if you're familiar with the story. Uh, and then it, there is really no divergence. It's the same basic story, but there is, you know, things that happened in Ash's version of the movie um, don't happen because it's it's a horror movie. It is a and it's well done um, makeup and special effects. There's not a lot of CGI, if if any at all, um, to really take you out. And and uh, it, I mean. If if you like good horror movies, this is one of those that will uh, creep you out. And you know, it made me. Uh, there was a couple of times that my daughter kind of leaned over and was like grabbing onto my arm, and I was kind of glad she was because. <laughs> um, but we actually we were lucky. We got into a five fifteen movie, so it was me and my daughter and like maybe seven or eight other people. So it was quiet. So it was like really quiet. It was really, uh, uh, you know, not a lot of people crunching on pop popcorn and stuff. But uh, if uh, I don't know about you, Dawn, I know Melissa wants to see it, and I don't know about Kelly. But if if you like good horror movies, um, it, it's not gory for the sake of gore. Um, but it's a you know it's a good story and they they did it well they did it well I was happy I went to go see it and you have to stay till the very end of the credits because there's a lot of things that happen inside the credits that are uh, that are interesting yeah. yeah not not my bag yeah so Dawn if you had to choose between Evil Dead and Jurassic Park 3D which one would you go to oh Jurassic Park Easy. it was good. It was good. I mm -hmm. thought that they put a little too much of the 3D in it, but I'm not a 3D fan. I just enjoyed seeing it again on the big screen. That is probably the only movie I'll ever say was better than the book. I loathe the book. Oh, see, I loved the oh, book. Oh, I actually liked the book too. I had a real hard time putting it down once yeah. I started on it. I, 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 
Because they, they, that girl, well, Ariana's character, she had absolutely no redeeming qualities in the book. Yeah, she was kind of one of those annoying kids. But I think I was an annoying kid when I read it, so it didn't bother me so <laughs> <Yeah>. much. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's my girl. So. Well, so good. Yeah, well, I really well, enjoyed my... seeing it again. So surely um, everybody has seen Jurassic Park. I mean, yeah. it's been forever. Well, I, I, we were talking about this uh, the other day where um, when Jurassic Park came out, it was when movie theaters first started pumping up their sound systems. Mm. Uh, and that one had one of those surround, you know, one of the things is like today it's like it's 3D or it's IMAX. Mm -hmm. Back then this movie had surround sound, right. you know, so – and I remember seeing that in the theater and having the dinosaurs sounding like they were, you know, walking around yeah. you. Um, did they do anything to the sound to to pump it up even more with uh, with the three D? You or know, I I think they must have done something because as many times as I've seen that movie, I still jumped several times, which was funny to me. But I, I did. I broke. You know, several well, times, so. Even when you know what's coming, it's yeah, still. Yeah, it, it was good. Probably my favorite part that involved them adding any 3D was at the very end where the Tyrannosaurus killed the Velociraptors and the, the banner comes floating down. Spoiler alert. You know, that alert. iconic. Oh, <laughs> Oh, yeah. please. Um, <laughs> true. true. Like, oh, no, might... that's my... And the Titanic sank, you know. Yeah. yeah. So that that 3D was good, but I'm not really all that much into 3D, and they were doing a whole lot of 3D in the jungle with the, the bushes and the branches coming out, and it was just too busy, too busy for me, but I enjoyed it anyway. Was the little DNA cartoon uh, uh, 3D <laughs> up? You know, probably because the little animated sections that they did were were pretty well 3D. So I, I think that they did enhance that as well. Pretty much, there's there's not a lot in the movie that didn't get the 3D treatment. So I, that's why, I, to me, it was a little overdone on the 3D department. They could have left some of it alone. Mm. But yeah, it seems when they go back and convert, it's like they. Less is more, but they don't seem to quite. They got a little. They got that. a little three D happy with it, but I enjoyed it. It's one of my favorite movies. And there so. you go. That's all it's important. Well, yeah. so in, in, Dylan, Dylan's been been taking care of business for me tonight on the great band names. So, uh, <laughs> good uh, job, baby. Dylan, Dylan uh, Mel just said three D happy. Uh, which would be a good <laughs> so if you could address that, I'd appreciate it. That that could um, go many ways. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's the thing about a great band name. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, Tony. You were gonna say something a second ago before I. Yeah, I forgot. Sorry. Right. Are, are oh, we no. gonna? Are Are we just gonna talk about other movies? Or are we gonna go back to Battle Dogs? I think we're trying to avoid it. <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think we are. Nobody, nobody wants there, to there talk was, about Battle was, Dogs. There was nothing really redeeming about it. Yeah. It, I mean, it was. It was. Yeah. I mean, it was. I mean, it was okay. It was there. It was a it thing. It was kind of meh. It yeah. did have it did have some good effects. I, I thought some of the effects on the the wolves were okay for that kind of uh, movie. I mean the, one of, the speeding blur. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one of the things that um, bothered me about this particular one, uh, besides it not being in New York, which I mean I could live without that, but you um, let that go. Yeah, let <laughs> that go. But um, when they were in um, Central Park and. You guys probably didn't notice this, but you know I noticed stupid crap. So, um, first of all, if if you're in an entrenched position, if you're protected, if you're in cover mm -hmm. and you're got a gun and someone's attacking you, you don't come out of your cover and go face to face with uh, your charging enemy. Okay, you kind of hang back and let them come at you, and you know you try and uh, reduce the numbers. Well, they did a cavalry charge just about. So everybody comes out, and uh, everybody's got a different weapon. Now, usually, if you watch any kind of army or war footage, everybody's got the same gun in their hand, unless you see some guys over there with a machine gun or something. One guy's got a shotgun. One guy's got, like, an M16. Another guy's got, 
you know, some kind of European style gun, which they usually don't issue to, you know, American yeah, military military troops. Forces, yeah. No, but they not not us. Maybe he I mean, was a tourist. He could have been. <laughs> um, but then again, the gun control laws in New York are pretty bad. So, but you know, uh, yeah, you can't have a gun in New York. Um, but it was it, it was just funny. Like I was like, I, I, look at the size of those things. I mean, I've seen horses that are small. These things, and you're going to come out from behind that tree and you know, like shoot and walk towards this werewolf guy. Uh, I, I think so. And the guy's about to say, oh, retreat, and he gets eaten by a werewolf. I thought that was pretty funny. But, yeah. you know, other than that, you know, I'd rather talk about, you know, sock puppets. <laughs> or feet. Or oh. No. <laughs> no. We're not going to draw him into that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, we're not going to get anything out of him on feet. No, or string. But but if you pushed me, uh, we could have a nice conversation about <laughs> kittens and about how much Kelly loves to get pictures of kittens tweeted to him. Yeah, that's yeah, just freaking yeah. awesome. Yeah, that, uh, that, <laughs> that, uh, that, can, that can stop. That can just stop. Yeah. I don't know if Florida. Uh, I do. I mean, I do. Um, uh, I'm friends with Lisa Marie on uh, Facebook and so I will give her occasional kitten picture that you guys all serve up to me because she seems to like those things but yeah I can I'm pretty much done so I really do appreciate all the kitten pics that have been sent but everyone <laughs> can now stop <laughs> forever so should we move to puppies uh, how about so, how about sloth pictures oh giant sloth so, gi giant sloth <laughs> would giant be good sloth? Uh, hedgehogs. I think I could go for hedgehogs. I think that could be oh, all right. little hedgies. Yep, that'd be all right. So, so you're into the cute, furry little animals. You don't want to see like roadkill pics or anything like that. So you're talking gerbils. Uh, so, so we're gonna. I'm, I'm <laughs> not gonna really that. talk about being into animals. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. That was Tony's phrasing, not mine. <laughs> yeah. So, so Dawn, do you have anything else you'd like to kind yeah. of talk about? How are things going for you? I, 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 I just want to point out, I did not say gerbils. Okay, yeah. gerbils did not come out of my mouth. Yeah. That's, uh... Yeah. You, you just served up a, a hanging curve there, and it, yeah, it, you had to swing. Yeah. Dawn, that's why you're on the show, Dawn. I'll, 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 I I'll, toss, I'll soft toss to you all day long. Yes. Uh, my, my mission yeah, in life. Yeah, Mr. Soft Toss. <laughs> <laughs> so I desperately want to talk about anything else possible. <laughs> so, anyway, we've we got... We can talk um, about the, the sci-fi uh, up front. Yes, that's what I was about to. I was about to bring okay. up the sci-fi up front. So, uh, how how are we doing on time, Mel? Should we? Uh, take we a could take break? a break for just a minute. So we'll we'll be back in just a minute, guys. Hi, everybody. This is the Snark Alex Show on Live 365's <laughs> Loud and Loaded Station, and I'm back here with Tony, Mel, and Dawn. Nice watch and great yes. job. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Good job, Kelly. Again, so. competencies. All I'm, I just want to be confident. <laughs> Somehow. For, for all of those listening, he did that blindfolded. He did? Yes. yes. It's great. Because reading and talking is hard, yo. It yes, is. it is. Hey, Dawn, thanks for joining us. We'll be, uh, <laughs> we'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. What he wanted Dawn. to say was... Thank you yeah. for joining us on your first and last appearance on yeah. the Snark Alex Show. <laughs> um, Just be glad that he doesn't have the video controls. Yeah. Well, you know, the, what is it? the door said to Ed Sullivan when they uh, didn't change the words to light my fire. He said, you'll never do the Ed Sullivan show again. And he says, man, I did the Ed Sullivan show. So, hey. There you go. We're no Ed Sullivan show. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so one of the things that I saw that I thought 
was interesting on the upfronts, and there was uh, something else that was added. But uh, I am a uh, big uh, fan of Larry Niven. Uh, so it appears that they are going to do a mini series, um, a four hour mini series of Ringworld. Uh, that was written by Larry Niven, but I missed this one. They're doing Childhood's End by Arthur C. Clarke. Um, have any of you guys read, read, uh, read, read any it? of those books? And what do you think? I think I read. I think I read that one. Childhood's End. It sounds so familiar. I think I did. I I didn't read all of Asimov's, but I read quite a few. But it was no. This is Arthur C. Clarke. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I got confused. No, I probably have not read that then. It so sounds so any, familiar. Yeah. Did you when you like turn to pages? Does like stuff stand up and pop out? <laughs> can I? Can I? Maybe because because if no, because if not, <laughs> I'm prob probably not familiar. <laughs> Those are um, good books, though. We should talk about pop-up books sometime, but maybe not. But, okay. We'll do a special well, show on pop-up books. Yeah. Put it, well, Tony, special. put it in the report. Yes, I will. Uh, Childhood's End is about um, an alien invasion uh, by these overlords. And, uh, and yeah, why they're in the underlords that do the invasions? Uh, they're incompetent. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. Exactly, um, and um, Larry Niven's book Ringworld is about the exploration of a star that has a ring around it, and when you look at the side of the ring that is facing towards the star, it's actually like one big long giant map, and um, it has enough uh, surface area for millions and millions of worlds, uh, and. Wow gajillions of people to live on and uh, it's a interesting concept um, so I was very interested in hearing about that but they're also they've got several other um, projects under development so whenever they say something is under development it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to get made but they're exploring it and mm -hmm. I think I sent the list to uh, Kate and Melissa there's a list of almost a report um, <laughs> it, it, it's it, it is a report just about um, and did it go in here because I know I shared it out to you guys. Mm -hmm. yep. Yes, I, I've, I've, yeah, got, I've got, got it. Yeah, I've got here clan, clandestine. Clandestine. Dominion. Yeah. None of these are pop-up like books that I'm familiar with. By the way. Um, <laughs> yeah, and 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 these those are actually supposed to be um, um, series, not uh, not mini series. This is so clandestine is uh, Left for Dead Outlaws. Um, they say that there's a lot of um, uh, spaceship type stuff happening here, um, and I read through this really quickly. One of them is about angels, uh, evil angels in Dominion. Um, rogue, rogue evil angels, the worst rogue. kind of evil yeah. angels, rogue ones. Because um, you can never trust what a rogue evil angel will do. It's like Illinois Nazis. Yes. I hate Illinois Nazis. <laughs> Well so then you've got another show called uh, Orion, and if I did not share this with you, Dawn, I can yeah, share this. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, oh, Orion let's see. sounds good. Okay, this is going to Hotmail, Dawn. Okay, cool. So you should be able to you should be able to see that. Um, Orion oh, is oh, a space name. opera. But yeah. I said it's interesting that they're all just I mean with the exception of the last one they're all doing the one name thing for the for the uh, hmm. title. <clears throat> and yeah because they're all under development it doesn't necessarily mean they're all going to get made and it doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to end up being what the title of the show is either. Oh you don't you don't get your um, adverbs until a little bit later. <laughs> Right, uh, or or you know, uh, they may 
do what they do with everything and do some product testing and have sure. you know test audiences watch it and say you know change this do that mm -hmm. um, it all depends on how much they want to put into it um, with defiance coming up starting next week uh, yeah. you know w with all of the money that it appears that sci-fi is put into it uh, between the actual production of the show itself and and all of the marketing and everything that's behind the game because I mean I'm sure they uh, uh, spent a lot of money developing that that game also and it's a multiplayer thing and so uh, Mel have you gone in there yet have you played no no I have not I haven't had time yet but I hear from my other trusted gaming people that it's a lot of fun okay so I'll um, report back when I finally get some time to play so maybe this weekend but but as far as you know it's not a pay to play game you buy the retail version of the game and then you're yes. in okay. you're you're in and I think there are upgrades that you can buy with real money once you're in the game um, but it is not a pay month to month okay so, so you buy the game and, and you get to play now whether you absolutely are going to have to put money into buying upgrades and stuff so that, that you don't get killed all the time is another question. Yeah, and that's one of the root things that's kind of keeping me because we, you know, we had this conversation the other day. You know, you're out there, you're playing, and then you find out you get killed by some 12 year old kid, and he's, you know, trash talking you from here to, you know, Alpha Centauri or wherever <laughs> they're taking place. Um, but yeah, I, I looked at this. Uh, re there is actually one Silver Shields with a uh, with two names in the title there, Kel. Uh, there you go. And, and, it's, and it's like twice the, as good the, as the rest. This this series would follow Country Boy Kamar as he journeys to the big city after his daddy is killed. Oh, goody daddy issues. Yeah, daddy Kamer issues. Kamer is an sure. awesome name. Um, Never seen that before, actually, but it's a pretty cool name. Yeah, I don't know. That yeah. one's really going to have to do something to sell me. Sounds like the third Ooh. Dixon brother is Merle Daryl Kamer. Kamer? Kamer. Kamer ain't right. We never left him out of the Dixon house. <laughs> Kamer needs to go back to the town, get out of the city. They need to have a brother named Gomer, though. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Gomer and Dixon. Gomer and Gamer, we kept them back at the house. They were twins. When you, yeah, when you got Merle saying, they ain't right, you know, that's not good. Even Daddy wouldn't fool with them. They ain't right. <coughs> now, y'all stop talking Walking Dead. Dawn has only recently... Come to the franchise. We were so. talking about The Walking Dead. We were just talking about the Dixon brothers. Right, right. But don't give her any, you know, anything to put her off. Don't talk about Andrea's feet. <laughs> she might not watch anymore. <laughs> That's right. Well, uh, yeah, and it's interesting that the only, like, she had to watch other shows, and then she was going to sit down and watch the finale. And what did she see? Andrea's feet. She saw Milton get horribly uh, killed. She mm -hmm. saw zombies die, and, and she saw you know the post-apocalyptic zombie pedicure. Yeah. Um, True. You saw that, but you also saw you know Michonne cry. It was a very touching moment in the show. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you got to see a lot of things in that show. Um, anything that you guys mention is fine. I'm not going to mention anything else about that episode. I thought it was really nice and good and fine um, but I'm not going there um, so are we done for today I think we covered I, I yeah. think we might be close um, I'd like to say it was nice to have you on Don but I'd be lying because you've been remarkably <laughs> remarkably mean to me through through most of the show and, uh, did we did we I'm, miss I'm anything now no, I don't think so. I guess we should just talk about what we have coming up. Don't it? What's what's the weekend movie? Is it V for Vendetta this weekend? Uh, or am I? I, I, I don't think we have. We don't have is. an original movie this weekend. I no. think it's V 
be for Vendetta, and but I'm on the website because I was going to try and update it with the tweet of the night, but then I just said, screw it. Um, so we've got, okay, so next uh, on the 13th is the uh, V4 Vendetta, and then um, next Friday is uh, Kelly's birthday. Yay. And, <laughs> um, uh, on next week's show, we are going to have the infamous uh, Crunch Ops on. He's going to join yeah. us. And, and we'll have Defiance to talk about. Yes, we'll have Defiance. And uh, we will be having a special guest. A special guest will be popping in for a short time uh, next week. And we've got Defiance and maybe a couple other things that we'll figure out before the week okay. is up. Alrighty, so who's going to take us out? I'd be happy to, Tony. <laughs> so, okay. folks, um, thanks again for Dawn for joining us. And uh, this is Kelly, Tony, and Mel signing off for the Snark Alex Show on Live 365's Loud and Loaded Station, and we'll catch you soon. Thanks. Thanks for having Thank me. you for listening. Thanks for coming by. Thank you, Dawn. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>